Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's... No wait, no it's not a fairy video is it? No, today I'm going to be helping you on how you can use the first person mod and you know how to discover it and download it and use it. So it would be a very quick simple tutorial, I don't do tutorials much as you can imagine. <laughs> but FYI you are going to need two programs and obviously one of them is Little Nightmares and the other one is the cheat engine. Now with the cheat engine, you use this to inject code into games and stuff. I personally don't recommend running this software when you're playing things like, I don't know, Fortnite or something. The anti-cheat detection software and those sort of games might pick up that you're running it and it could get you banned. So just FYI, when you use this mod, make sure you're not playing any other game with this cheat engine enabled. But anyway, with all that said and done, my bum covered, um, let's get into Little Nightmares already. Now, I will note, you do need a controller, specifically an Xbox One. I know that some people have tried to use PlayStation ones and they don't work. But anyway, with your programs installed, like Cheat Engine and whatnot, make sure you go to QNico's Twitch page where he links the actual code that you need to download. Go ahead and right click that code link right click it and save as save as i would defaultly use what qnico has used just in case it doesn't mess with any of the code right click it save it desktop wherever you want in instance i've saved it to desktop and make sure your cheat engine program runs it now get into little nightmares with your controller enabled first go to the loading screen bloody blah, blah, blah press some keys on your controller just do something with it to register your controls working and then you want to open up the program, wait for that to run, go back into the game, start messing with the controller again. And what you'll see is either the values of the program will change. This is why I use it in a window mode so you can see. But you'll see that that starts to interact and starts to work. And then what you can do is you can press right bumper to go into the first person mode. And then when you do enable right bumper to go in first person, left bumper becomes sprint. But all this wouldn't be here without the amazing work of Hugh Nico. So remember to go like, comment, and subscribe over in his channel. I will link that. And also his Twitch. And if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more little nightmares and theory-related stuff. But with that being said, guys, I did say it was going to be a short video. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!